Ukraine's Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula is largely in darkness after power lines running from the Ukrainian mainland were attacked and destroyed. Far from a straightforward criminal act, the incident carries with it major geopolitical consequences. Leonid Bashidsky, writing for Bloomberg, will help us understand what's going on here on The Press Review. First, some background information. In the last minutes of November 21st, someone blew up two transmission towers in Ukraine's Kherson region, cutting off Crimea's electricity. Lights went out all over the peninsula Russia annexed from Ukraine last year. Plunged into darkness, citizens heard loudspeaker announcements. The authorities are doing their best to resolve the situation, stay calm. There wasn't much the Russian authorities in Crimea could do, except wait for Ukrainians to restore supply. But that might be too much to ask of them. Ukraine has been slow to make the necessary repairs and return power to Crimea. That, in part, is due to an economic blockade of the peninsula being enforced by the Crimean Tatars, with help from the nationalist right sector group. Tatar leader Mustafa Jamilev was among those who helped set up the blockade. Bushitsky writes, Jamilev has promised to let repair crews do their job, but he stressed that energy supplies from Ukraine to Crimea should be stopped, so it's not clear whether the repairs will take place anytime soon. It's clear that the Ukrainian government is unwilling to take on the activists so that life in Russian-held Crimea could go back to normal. That would be highly unpopular. The blackout in Crimea comes as part of a wider economic war currently playing out between Ukraine and Russia, alongside the war on the ground in East Ukraine between Russian-backed militants and Ukrainian troops. Russian airlines are banned from Ukraine, Ukrainian ones from Russia, and Moscow also plans to bring in a ban on Ukrainian food imports. But all this, says Bushitsky, is not as serious as the lack of electricity in Crimea. He writes, The Crimea energy situation, however, is more dangerous than any of that tit-for-tat. Russians who backed the annexation, Putin's core electorate, expect the president to deal with such threats. All he can do, short of sending troops into mainland Ukraine, is to lean on the Kiev government. But even if it is capable of fully controlling its territory, it is playing a complicated game with the protesters whose leaders are part of the political establishment. So our commentator today believes that the lack of electricity in Crimea is just the tip of the iceberg. It's all part of the wider geopolitical struggle which has been playing out over Ukraine over the past two years. Bershitsky suggests that the blackout on the peninsula could be an attempt by some in Ukraine to put Russian President Putin in a bind just as he tries to forge an alliance with the West to fight Islamic State in Syria. That's all we have time for today. Join us again tomorrow for another press review. In Kiev, this is Ukraine Today.